1989 was a year in which President Daniel Arap Moy replaced his vice president, Josfat Karanja, barely a year after he had appointed him to take over from Moy Kibaki. The man who replaced Karanja, George Saitoti, was a mathematics professor at the University of Nairobi, whom Moy had nominated to parliament and made minister for finance, the docket that Kibaki had occupied before he was removed from the vice presidency. Unlike Kibaki, Karanja had posed no threat to Moy. But Moy got parliament to pass a vote of no confidence in Karanja. According to the mover of the motion in parliament, Embakasi MP David Mwenje, Karanja was undermining the president through his haughty demeanor and supposed close association with Uganda's president Yoweri Museveni at a time when relations between Uganda and Kenya were not very cordial. Saitoti also replaced Karanja as vice president of the ruling party Kanu. And because of the vacancy in the party hierarchy that had been occasioned by the earlier death of Moses Mudavadi, Moy ordered an overhaul of the party executive. In the process, Joseph Kamodo ended up as the party's new secretary general, thereby becoming the second most powerful national Kano official. Proof enough, if any was needed, of the uncertain and unpredictable path the country's politics had taken since the failed coup attempt of August 1st, 1982. Kamodo was one of the leaders Moy had suspended from the ruling party five years earlier when he had forced former Attorney General and Minister for Home and Constitutional Affairs, Charles Njonjo, out of his government. The unpredictable sequence of events only added to criticism against Moy's government and Kano. Moy had former Minister for Local Government and MP for Starehe, Charles Rubia, expelled from Kano in March for his continued criticism of the party. But on June 1st, Madaraka Day, he released all detainees and offered amnesty to all political dissidents who had fled the country. Among the released detainees was Raila Odinga, son of the former leader of the opposition Kenya People's Union, Oginga Odinga. Moy would confound Kenyans even more when in April he appointed archaeologist and former head of the National Museums of Kenya, Richard Leakey, to replace Perez Olindo as director of wildlife conservation and management in the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife. By the end of the year, Leakey had been made the first director of the newly formed Kenya Wildlife Service, with a free hand to lead the country's war against wildlife poaching. Leakey's appointment to head the KWS came a few months after Moy had appointed another white person to a high public post, Justice Alan Hancocks, to succeed Chief Justice Cecil Miller, who had died. In the world of business, 1989 saw the inauguration of the first private television station in Kenya, Kenya Television Network, KTN, as a joint venture between Kanu and the British media mogul Rupert Murdoch. It was also the year value-added tax, VAT, was introduced. Standard Chartered Bank went public with the largest public share issue in Kenya's history at nearly 290 million Kenya shillings. And Kiambere Power Project was completed five years after construction started. 1989 was the year Peter Koech broke the world 3,000 meter steeplechase record in Stockholm and Douglas Wakihuri won the London Marathon. During the year, Kenya said farewell to Chief Justice Cecil Miller, former Chief Justice Chunilal Madan, High Court Judge Abdul Rauf, Kanu Secretary General and Minister for Local Government Moses Mudavadi, former Kanu Chairman David Okikiamayo, singer Kelly Brown, Wildlife conservationist George Adamson, who was murdered in Cora by shifter bandits, and former pre independence Kenyan Indian freedom fighter and lawyer John Maximium Nazareth. <laughs>